this uh, spot also could be termed a uh, little microclimate location. And if you uh, stand over here on the uh, north facing slope, which gets less sun, uh, you'll see that there's a lot different kinds of plant life growing in here. You've got some mosses and some fern-like plants, and the soil actually has moisture to it. You can visibly see the soil moisture. Um, and, you know, so it doesn't get as much sun. This is a, a cluster of some of the little kinds of plants that would only grow in a shaded, moist area. And you can see that the, the soil here has a, a dark, moist color to it. Looks like the water level got up as high as, as here one time when this thing was standing in water. Another thing that I always like to do when I'm uh, hiking in an area where there's water, in, especially in the desert, is to uh, uh, connect with the water. I like to physically connect with the water. It's part of the spiritual experience that uh, I actually achieve when I'm in a place like this, and that is to touch the water and feel the water, not necessarily drink it because it <laughs> you know, would need to be treated first. As I mentioned, at night, the, everything comes out to drink this water. Rodents uh, that can cause uh, diseases of all kinds. But it, uh, it's the, the physical connection that a person can feel with the life-giving force coming from water. And I, I always like to do that. It's, just, it's a ritualistic thing for me. When I go into a place like this, if I if I don't do it, I feel like I, I did not complete my journey. Oh, it's so cool.